still keeps the traditional values of the Cambodian martial art yeah, the by doing the Kun, the Kun Kru. Beautiful to see, John. And as you've talked about it, I mean, as a fighter, I personally enjoyed doing it. it limbers you up, gives you a couple minutes to think, get your get your game your game hat on, right? Exactly. You want to play into there. And again, it really does limber you up right before going out there, right? I mean, again, you've already got the the liniment on, the oil on. You're already you're you're burning. Your mind's concentrating on your opponent. What you're gonna do when you come out in the first? But you get to really uh, with that kung fu, you really do get to focus on what's gonna happen. I can see again the red corner, a little bit older fighter, the 25-year-old touch, He's just walking around, casually making eye contact with the fans here at ringside. Again, the production level here of Idol Kung Kamir, kind of on another, another plateau, just another standard, huge LED screens. Again, around 30, 35,000 people in attendance, as we've been told, and it is just wonderful to be. And John, right on, 35,000 people, and going back to the fighters, if you can dance in front of 35,000 people, you can punch each other's face in front of 35,000 people. Yeah, for no, sure, brother. No nerves needed for that. Both fighters finishing up their Kun Crew, and we are seconds away from our first opening bout, Touch Brush Notch versus Riti Malakang, both Cambodian fighters. Raph, it's about to set off. Game time here again. Gansberg Idol, Kung Kamir, 7th of April, 2024. First friendly of the evening. Blue corner, Riti Malakang, Cambodia's own. And of course, from Cambodia as well. Touch, Prosnuch. 57 kgs of thunder, lightning, and all that power. You know what I mean? About to, about to come together. So much power, John. These Cambodian fighters have dynamite in their hands. Every single Cambodian fighter that we've come to see, heavy-handed. Yes. And here we go, John. First round on the way. Touch of gloves. Here we go. Round one starts off. Both guys come in swinging and banging already. You can see, once again, these guys are going to have to put their combinations together. The kicks above the, well, above the waist score more. Those lower, lower kicks. I don't know if the judges will go after them. And again, remember for the punches, you really have to you really have to knock the sweat off the guy's head. You really have to cause some pain for the judges to score those. A little laugh off there from Ritty as he gets a combination to the body and the head. Again, looks like he's having a great time. The smiles on faces doesn't seem to be intimidated at all. Uh, and he's definitely trying to take ring control, staying up on those toes and putting in the work. Both fighters exchanging the right hands. Ritty, of course, being more smiley, but so is Touch. Touch is also enjoying himself in there. Both fighters still trying to feel each other out, but still landing some heavy punches to each other's faces. Left kick from Ritty, but that right hand counter from Touch. And again, normally they don't come out and feel each other out. And as he backs him up into the neutral corner, goes for the teep up. And Touch. comes up with a high kick as well. I would say again, they are feeling each other out. They've decided to, to keep it a little casual here in the first round and not just throw absolute grenades at each other. As the referee tells them to get back to action, they're stalemating each other a little bit. I don't know if the styles have uh, clashed but again, Riti Malakang, he just seems to be content brushing away that that teep and going for the overhand right. Uh, uh, overhand right. Touch really living up to his name and really touching up the face of Riti with his hands. But Riti, un unbothered, keeps pushing forward, landing a right hand over the top of Touch's left body kick. Ritty just keeps coming forward, trying to find some some sort of offense. That's a that's a good teep by Ritty. It's a little bit of a low blow. We do care about procreation here in Cambodia, so <laughs> yes, we do. Right hand lands for Ritty, being shaken off by Touch. Touch very common there. It does not seem 
as if either of these guys are trying to take it in the first round. We, we normally see some killers come in here and absolutely don't give it a tryout first round. Both these guys clearly have come to feel each other out. And the action will pick up, I'm sure, in round number two. As again, Riddhi Malakong is put back on his back foot, brought into the red corner. I'm not seeing the punches and bunches and the volumes and the combinations coming out of touch that he normally goes with. John, that will do it for our first round. Both fighters, of course, feeling feeling each other out. Gansberg, Idol, Kung Khmer fight. I, I, I would have to say so. Again, she's doing a fantastic job. She's letting us all know round number two is coming up. She will go between the ropes. And again, we will start up the action as the referee brings him in one more time to touch gloves. Sportsmanship, the cornerstone, the cornerstone of all Kun Khmer. And, then, and as you were correct, Ritti coming in with that overhand, trying to get up off of his feet, right up on his toes, smiling. Very, very odd stance and style from Ritti Malakon. I, uh, I really enjoy that. He's got his head movement going on. He's looking like he's having fun. He's trying to dance in there. Touch coming up with the head. They're in the neutral corner, and they are touching each other up. Big right elbow tried to land right there. And let's see if the elbow battle comes into play. Back in the blue corner, raises up the legs again. Non-stop action here. Ido Kung Kamir. Ritty really just pushing forward here, using our right hands, and then turning that into the elbows. Touch needs to step back a little bit, create a little bit of space, find some arsenal of his own. But Rit but Ritty is unrelenting. He's coming forward. Here we go. About 30 seconds in, Ritty has slowed down a little bit, given Touch a little more time to land his shots. These boys are traded and the crowd is loving it. Yes, the crowd just got a, a big swell right there as the return elbow, right? He spun it and juiced him. Looks like it's just below the eye. He's up, he's saying he's fine, but that is the blood, baby. The blood will come and the smile is still on his face. He's all good. Clearly he is there, but a mouse, and not a mouse, an absolute rat has just grown underneath that eye. And with the blood comes the sharks, right? The chum is in the water. Let's see if Touch can go, that, go after that mark. A lot right more on. calm, a lot more. Right on, but Ritty, who just got knocked down, he is now the shark. Even though he is cut, he's coming forward. He's trying to land the elbows, trying to get this round back. He's really looking for the elbow. Big right elbow missing there, but he keeps throwing it. Like a shark just comes forward. Little slip there for Ritty. Still has the big smile on his face is Ritty, who's just trying to control the ring. Touch a lot more calm, a lot more calculated as he comes with the returns. Again, if you're judging by the judges' scorecards, although Ritty comes in with that elbow that we'd love to see land, because he keeps missing it and that huge rat underneath the eye, blood is going. I got to say that the judges are going to be in huge favor of touch Ross Notch on this uh, on this second round of this first bout of the evening. Gansberg Idol fight, Idol Kung Kamir. Ritzy showing lots of heart, John, but he's not setting up those elbows. He's just trying to knock down touch and touch now has calmed down. He has found his pace, he has found his range, and that will do it for the second round. Beautiful control there by touch at the end, especially in that spinning elbow as Ritzy was coming in with that. Ladies and gentlemen watching around the world, do not get lost in her, in her eyes. <laughs> Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair for sure. Here we go. Round number three. Let's see what Ritzy can pull out here. Third and final round rings on this uh, first bout of Gansberg Idol Kung Kamir, April 7, 2024. Ritty Malakang in the blue corner. Touch. Ross Notch. And again, shaking on the head. I love his character. I love what he's trying to do. But he does need to land and score in the eyes of the judges. We're going first. Bashed up his head right there. Caused a little whiplash. Lands two more. And now they are trading, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner. Referee will break them up. Raph, again, he's going for it. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to start landing that right hand just like he's doing. And he keeps landing right hand. We need to see that again. And he needs to mix it up with the right elbow as well. 
But now Touch, as soon as you give him some space, a little bit of breathing room, he's able to find his counters, find his space, and this is what he's doing beautifully. Behind the jab, moving back, counter left knee, deep to the face, create space, faint, 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 move. Beautiful stuff here from Touch. And then again, that space that you're talking about, he's controlling the range of the fight, which means he's controlling the fight. I mean, the, the range that he's using right there, great overhand right there's happened. Basically has turned into a boxing match, but every once in a while you see him pick up that leg, keeps him off. Slipping a fall right there from Ritti. He's back up, says it was a slip. Ritti still the smiling, range. still smiling, still loving the fight. Still pushing forward, you love to see this. He knows he's down two rounds, so he has to go for a knockout. Switching into southpaw now, Ritti. Left kick to the body from Ritti. Still trying to apply pressure here late into the round, because he knows, I think he actually knows. And again, Touch deciding to use that range to stay away. If he can just win it in the eyes of the judges, he'll move on in the Gansberg Idol Kun Kamir World League, if you will. We'll all remember the name of the 25-year-old who's come out here to put another win in his belt. The cup is having a problem. Again, big smile ear to ear from Riddy. If there's one thing I can say about this guy, it's that I like his character, I like his style, I like his moves. He's having fun in there. But he is getting juiced more. Touch just got caught with a big left hook. But he's okay. He's still controlling the range really well. On the back foot, but a right hand! Staggers! Touch! And Riddy coming forward with the right hand again. He's got to go. He's got to throw the right hand to the body. Right hand uppercut, baby. All oh, right wow. hand to the hook. The crowd getting behind Ritty right now, John. A lot of fun happening here right at the end of the round three. This is the third and final round, but uh, Ritty is not giving up here. He's smelling blood. He wants to go in there. Touch doing a great job of staying safe with the range, trying to win this in the eyes of the judges. But I found it very, very amusing right there. That big overhand right as the... End of round three and the end of the fight comes to a conclusion again. Great job by Touch staying away with the range. But man, you gotta give it to Riddy. Boom, that big overhand right at the end there. That's what we were checking out. The Gansberg replay, and that was the story of the night. It was that spinning back elbow causing his opponent to just leak. And again, both men in the ring right now as we're still taking a look at the replay, both men in the ring right now cheering and vying for the fans' applause. Again, another fantastic uh, Gansberg replay that shows how at the end of that they both laid leather on face. It was just touch that I feel landed a little bit more and of course you can see the blood on Ritti's face. Kind of gives you the decision as we go to the three judges at the Gansberg rings uh, deliberation. We go to their scorecards. What a character he is, right? They're laughing right there with the uh, referee. Ritty Malakang, that guy is happy. Yes, he is. And John, not a bad fight from Ritty. He really turned it on in, in the third round. That right hand kept landing. But Touch was just a little bit ahead. He saw the punches coming in a little bit more. He was able to evade a little more and counter punch a little more. Very evenly matched fight, very fun fight to watch and commentate on. Both, both these guys winners in my book, but personally, I think Touch was able to etch it out. And there it is. Not much of a surprise. Touch scoring a knockdown.